tattooblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So, the baby broke up with his yellow bone Danny Lay last week, just in time for Valentine's Day. Aw, how messed up. But on the flip side, his precious three-year-old daughter is his Valentine's instead. Father and daughter style. Okay, okay, we see you. But let's rewind a little bit now. Y'all know how every year, a lot of dudes always make sure to find a way to break up with their girl that they didn't even like like that, just in time to not have to spend mad bread on them. Plus, they'd rather save a special day for someone that they really love for real. With that said, by now, I know y'all know that Danny pissed millions off a few weeks ago when she came out her mouth with the song talking about yellow bone is what he wants. Basically exposing herself as a colorist or a colorist enabler. Look, there's nothing wrong with being a yellow bone, but in a world where black people are so hated and even within the black community, the darker you are, the more you're treated like, Shh, why would you say that? And then had a nerve to get snippy and defensive when her fans were initially trying to tell her to take the song down and how she's in the wrong for even saying that. And yeah, she obviously immediately apologized with a lengthy I'm sorry after the backlash, but the apology was not accepted by the vast majority. Sorry, and hopefully this is something we can get past. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. To call me a colorist, to call me a racist is like, yo, <laughs> how? I'm dating a whole chocolate man. I have beautiful melanin friends. Like, it's like, y'all really took it there when it's like, nah, like, let's... <laughs> It's not about that. That's not where I was coming from. I don't see my skin as a privilege. I'm sorry. Like, I offended you guys. Like, it was not my intention at all. It has not stopped people from clowning her, which they're still doing to this day. Especially after the baby left her, making her question her own lyrics. Ooh, look, when people make songs about brown skin girls or melanin, it's a form of endearment. It's to big up the darker black woman and show them love. Just to uplift them and have their own... Uh, melanin popping is a strong, powerful message. But the way she said it was basically a slap in the face, like, haha, yellow bone is what he wants is equivalent to saying he don't want you dark skins, right or wrong. But that's also saying that he really don't like you, ma. He wants you for your skin tone. Cause had you been dark, would he look your way? Just saying. Oh, and of course that put heat on the baby cause she's basically saying that the baby wants light skinned women and that he's a colorist too. I, just speaking on my man, that's what he wants, that's what he has. I know he was embarrassed and immediately planned his ex it away from this Dixie girl. Clearly, that's what happened. He's gone now. Look, there's no way in heaven or hell that he would have let her drop that trash. And not only because of what she said, but do y'all hear her voice? Fellow yellow, what is this? What is this? I mean, hot damn, I thought I couldn't sing. But Shorty takes the cake. Over there sounding like Ice JJ Fish, the female version. Let me stop. But seriously, I know nobody okayed that record. There's just no way. I don't know how she thought in any way, shape, or form that her lyrics or voice on this record made sense. Instead of making yourself feel superior and calling everybody haters, make a song about how all shades of black is beautiful and then maybe you would have more black women supporting you. I mean, it's just a lot of division amongst black people on the tone of their skin. Mm. But anyway, I say all of that to say this. Big up to the baby who made sure to uplift his beautiful brown skin baby girl and showing her a glimpse of the way a black woman should be treated by making her his Valentine's. Having some daddy daughter time. That's right, spoil the baby, the baby. Pun intended. This is definitely not a bad idea, so a lot of you dudes might want to take notes. Y'all might want to start spoiling your daughters every year on this day, on Valentine's Day, you know, showing her that you love her and put her first. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm so pretty. Gotta wear your hat the right way. You still there? Yeah, you. Since you are still here, be sure to support this channel by checking out our store and buying Petsy Blog merchandise, which should appear right under this video or in the store section of this channel, which is right here. What we have in store for you is an I Support Petsy Blog shirt and the Sips Petsy mug. Cause um, the tea we be having for you, honey, mm-mm-mm.